it is time for our garbage people of the week. All right, garbage people of the week. Jordan, you are our guest. You go first. Okay. Uh, I'm again. Thank you for having me, Brett. It's an honor to sit uh, in you in your seat. Uh, my garbage people of the week are Scott Peters, Kathleen Rice, and Kurt Schrader. And while those names might not resonate with people watching, you will. Maybe know them as the three Democrats who voted to kill the uh, drug price negotiation uh, component of the spending bill in committee this week. And what does that mean? Well, this was uh, a, in a committee markup in the uh, Energy and Commerce Committee, a provision of these this, this all encompassing, they, some call it the Build Back Better Act, some people call it the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill, but it was a component to help pay for it that would help keep drug prices low and allow the government to negotiate drug prices with pharmaceutical companies. That is a good idea, right? No, when you have three corporate backed Democrats voting with Republicans to kill it, despite Democrats having the majority, that does a disservice to you and everyone you know and love. So those three are my garbage people of the week. And I was specifically want to point out that Kathleen Rice was picked for the final spot on this committee directly over AOC. It was between Kathleen Rice and AOC. And when Rice got it, uh, who the Democrats picked her, everyone applauded. Yes, we kept, we kept the progressives out, it's so great. And Rice put out a statement saying that she was so happy she got this spot because it would allow her to help negotiate to keep drug prices low. It's so unbelievably cynical and just shows how there's like malignant uh, forces uh, cancerous forces uh, uh, in in the Democratic Party that are uh, working against your best interest, specifically no. Medicare, where your tax dollars go to buy drugs for seniors, and she is ensuring that you will that you will spend more tax money on drugs. Every other country is like. Costco with it. Like we're going to wholesale. We're going to buy, we're going to negotiate on behalf because we're a big buyer. We're going to collectively bargain to buy a lot of drugs or go f yourself. We're going to move on to a different provider. In America, that's insane. And and like 90,000% of Americans support collectively bargaining for lower drug prices. That's it. That's how every other country does it. And it's a large portion of why we and that's the reason that we pay more in America. Ugh, such a good person. Such a good garbage people. All right, my garbage person of the week is Benjamin Elizabeth Shapiro. Everyone's name is Elizabeth if I don't know it. Um, so his middle name is Elizabeth Benjamin Elizabeth Shapiro. He um, doesn't know anything about Cara Delevingne, but he really does know a lot about pegging. Here's an amazing clip from his show. And then we had Cara Delevingne. And I'm, I'm, I may be screwing up her name, but frankly, I don't care because I really don't know very much who she is. Apparently, she's some sort of model. And here she was modeling a bib slash straight jacket. I don't know what this top is supposed to be. And it says, peg the patriarchy. Oh, the courage. Oh, the stunning courage and bravery. Peg the patriarchy. Because pegging, of course, is an obscure sexual practice in which women perform the uh, the, uh, the more aggressive sexual act on men. Peg the patriarchy, right? Which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen that. That's so good. He's getting excited. I love these, like Cara, Del Cara Darlevin. Darlevin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what modeling is. Anyways, here's what pegging is. It's like, <laughs> sir, you just so outed yourself as knowing way more about this, and you, you don't seem like the cool guy in this situation. Uh, that's that's that comes close to him reading the lyrics for WAP. Like that, that, that's that's a good one. I hadn't seen that. Thank you, thank you for pulling that. Oh, that's great. Um, I do. There's a little bit more. Do we have time for it, Marissa? Let's do it. Here's here's the rest of that little clip. And she's pegging the patriarchy by being a model for the pleasure of men, generally speaking. And also, she's pegging the patriarchy by wearing scantily clad outfits that say this. And the patriarchy is quaking in its boots. Let me tell you. Just, I mean, wow, the courage. You know, by the way. Where the patriarchy is actually dominant, 
You think a woman could wear this? So in Afghanistan right now, the patriarchy is pretty dominant. If Carol Delevingne walked out on the streets of Afghanistan, she would be dead within approximately 22 seconds because she doesn't live in a patriarchy. That's the thing. She lives in a free republic. Okay, but peg the patriarchy, such courage. Oh, and doing it at the Met Gala of all places. I mean, she's not even doing it like a, a truck stop in Ohio. She's doing it at the Met Gala. That's where the patriarchy lives. Unbelievable courage, stunning bravery. I don't understand that, like, the the truck stop in Ohio thing. Like, I don't get that. Is that where you think pegging happens? Uh, Snesley Wipes in Twitch said, Ben is so obsessed with kinky sex. And that's what it comes down to. Yep. He is so obsessed with it. And I also like that. Um, I also like that he has the. Um, Dang, we have to get to the garbage people community poll. But uh, I like that that's his like on and off, like his, his quantum leap between like no patriarchy, any patriarchy is you can do what you want. And then if there's any patriarchy, it means Taliban. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't use the word patriarchy it's in like a, a sentence or on a shirt. And he's it's also respectful. like, guys, this is America. It's free. You, you can you can peg people if you want to, and they can they can peg you back if you want to, as long as it's uh, consensual. I think everybody can have fun in that situation. It's weird that he thinks that they can't. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, damage report community poll. Here are the results. Um, in fifth place, Nicki Minaj for making her cousin's friend's balls headline news uh, with nine percent. The Florida chiropractor in fourth place for giving for pre-signed COVID waivers to students. Uh, in third place, Amy Coney Barrett for claiming the uh, Supreme Court aren't partisan hacks. Then Donald Trump in second place, a rare loss for him for spending 9-11 promoting a boxing match that didn't bring in really any money. I thought it was like $150,000 in sales was all this multi-million dollar event made. And then finally, number one, your garbage person of the week community style is the Tennessee parents for mocking a pro mask kid whose grandma died of COVID. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.